I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about how to convert old Office files to the new file formats. And of course, I'm talking about the doc files that will be converted to docx, the PPT files, which will be converted to PPTX, the XLS files that will be converted to XLSX, and more. So why would you want to do this? Well, the first benefit is that it saves up to 75% of um, the file the storage area that you're using just by saving them in the new format. That depends a lot on what kind of content you have in your files, but there will be a significant storage space saving anyhow. Also, the new file formats don't allow for macros in them, so that will be a security improvement. There are specific file formats that do contain macros in uh, Office 2007 and forwards. But the default file formats, docx, for example, does not allow you to have macros in them, which uh, could be a benefit. Also, this new format is called the Open Office Document Format, which is based on XML. And that's, of course, a strategic difference, that you're not saving your information in uh, some uh, proprietary uh, format, but you're actually using a standard-based format. Even though Microsoft did propose that format, it's still a standard. It's new. That's always good. Also, if you're using SharePoint 2013, then there's something called Format Handlers, which is a new feature of the search feature in SharePoint 2013, and that works better with the new file formats. So those are a couple of reasons that you might want to convert to the new file formats. One thing that you should be aware of from the start here is that your links will break. Since the file names actually change from .doc to .docx, then there's no way to really retain the links. They will no longer work. Those links can, of course, occur inside the document when one document is linking to another. They can also occur in email, web pages, shortcuts that have, people have on their desktops or, or in the file system somewhere. And they can also appear in chats and lots of other places also. So this will probably be a rather big issue for a larger organization that there's really not a simple way to, to replace all of those existing shortcuts and links. So that's something you need to be aware of before starting. Now, once you've decided to do this, how should you do it? Uh, there are three ways. One of the Microsoft supported ways is to go and download the Microsoft Migration Manager. And I have that linked here. And that does convert the files. Also, you can, of course, manually open the files and then save them as the new file format. But that will, of course, take a lot of time. And I've actually done a variant of this in my PowerShell script here. I automate the file open and file save as on all the different Office applications. So I'm going to share that script with you and go through it. But before you use that script, there's a couple of things you need to think about. This uh, convert Office files PS1 file gives you a bit more control. That's what I'm doing it. It also changes the, the uh, file change dates, and that might be important to you since you might need, want to know when was this file last changed. And in my PS1 script here, I do retain that information. When you automate Office, then you need to actually make sure that Office works as it should. Uh, the language packs must be installed. So if you're opening a Swedish language document, then you must have the Swedish language pack installed. And you must also set the default save format to be the new format. And you must also add the location in Trust Center, so that this location is trusted. And finally, you must disable protected view on um, the files, so that that doesn't um, interfere with the script in any way. So let me show you the script and how it works. I'm going to uh, close down PowerPoint for now. And then I'm going to go into my file directory here, which I have here under my favorites, the old format docs. And as you see, I have three directories here, one for each year, and uh, those are filled with files, all in the old file format. And then I have a backup directory, which is empty now. And now what I'm going to do is run this script, and here I've added some parameters. Where's the root path? And the different subdirectories that I want to convert. And then I have a backup root path. And now I'm simply going to run this. And that's going to start the Office applications on this computer and actually do the conversions. Let's step through the code real quick. First of all, I'm creating the 
Word, PowerPoint, and Excel applications up here. And this is the function that sets the file times. As you see, I'm copying the creation time uh, from the old file to the new file, the last access time, last write time. That came as a surprise to me, actually, that those were writable, but they are, and PowerShell can write those things. Okay, I'm building the path. Uh, convert doc. As you see, I'm opening the doc. I'm setting it to print view, because by default in Word 2013, it opens in read view, from which you can't really convert any files, so you need to set it to print view first. And then I convert the file and save it as doc or docm, depending on if it has a VB project or not. And PowerPoint, same thing, and open the PowerPoint and then save it in the new file formats. Same thing with Excel. And then here's the main part of the code that goes through all the paths and um, creates a, uh, and it checks if that path actually exists. And then it creates a backup path and creates that directory. And then it checks the file extension of the current file. It loops through each of the files in each um, folder here and checks what the extension is, if it's doc, RTF, Word Perfect Format, PPT, or XLS. Those are the supported file formats for the script. And then I convert those files, and um, then I set the file time, and finally I move the old file to the backup path. All right, so let's run that. And just press the play button here. I'm running this in Windows PowerShell IC. Uh, running that, yes, okay. Here you see PowerPoint is actually being opened and it's writing down the PowerPoint files and um, soon there will be Word file and Excel files. I'm going to pause the recording right now and then we'll finish this once it's done. I'll let the script run and then I'll <coughs> talk about the results once the script has run, uh, completed. So now the full script is uh, run and all the files have been converted so let's look at that so you see uh, we now have the same file directory and here are all the old format files let's go back and see if these these are all in the new format and just for a quick check we'll see how much the difference is let's see the new files have a total file size of 14.8 megabytes um, the old files in the old format were actually 20, so we have a 25% size to decrease here. It's not as good as I advertised, but still a significant change. Thank you for watching this demonstration.